Hi guys, welcome to this update video this evening. I trust and hope you're doing really fantastic. So, we're going to be talking about what is going on across the Atlantic. A very brief update because in truth, things are becoming quieter and quieter. And we are definitely headed towards our dry season, which is officially around December through May. But we're already seeing the signs of that kicking in, which is going to be the primary focus of this video alongside what is currently happening so right now in the north atlantic we can see this area of low pressure associated with a frontal system and towards the vicinity of the caribbean we see a couple of these white dots which are indicative of lightning strikes even down towards the vicinity of trinidad and tobago so there is a bit of a rain surge some increased rain in this general area here in the southeastern caribbean but aside from that things have been getting much drier and stable elsewhere across the region. At a closer look here we can see what's definitely been going on uh, and these different colors that you're seeing are indicative of the height of clouds and as we head more towards those shades of burgundy, those blacks, the gray in the midst as well, very tall clouds. Sometimes uh, those are typically associated with thunderstorms that we have a lot of moisture so we don't really see that in abundance across the Caribbean as what we would observe on a summer afternoon. So things are definitely getting calmer across the region, although there's definitely some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the eastern Caribbean. But further west, towards Haiti, Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, uh, parts of Central America as well, and the ABC Islands, things are definitely showing signs of being stable. Now let's look at the rain forecast. So as we're going to be headed throughout the rest of today and into very early tomorrow, we can see what's expected here by our uh, Euro model. So uh, more color indicates more rainfall activity. So in and around the vicinity of the southern Bahamas, going towards the Turks and uh, Caicos Islands, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, even headed down to parts of the Lesser Antilles, we can see all of these different colors kicking in here so there could be some rainfall in this region for sure but especially towards Trinidad and Tobago and there could even be some of those heavier downpours which in the case of a lot in a very short amount of time in those more low-lying areas the potential is going to be there for some minor flood and hopefully that doesn't take place but never want to rule it out towards parts of northern Guyana going to Colombia Venezuela and even around Panama, very active with quite a bit of rain. Further north, expect some scattered showers and thunderstorms, parts of Belize, Guatemala. For Jamaica, it's going to be on the quieter side, maybe a few passing showers here and there. And likewise for the uh, Cayman Islands. So as I mentioned, things are definitely getting more and more stable. So it is instability and unstable atmosphere where we're actually getting... Uh, rise in air motion when water evaporates from our different sea or ocean surfaces high up in the atmosphere cools condenses to form clouds so that instability is what typically results in a lot of rain and thunderstorm activity but when there's nothing to really influence that things are going to be quiet and the dry and that's also seen here on this dry air graphic so as we see more of these colors of oranges and reds that is indicative of the dry air. So that is very much prominent in the Gulf, also offshore the Southeast states, going to much of the North and Western Caribbean. So with things getting a lot more stable, reduced rainfall is going to be going on. It's not that there won't be any rain, but it will be significantly reduced compared to what we are used to uh, within the summer and early fall. So we're headed into late fall. We will, uh, we will be approaching the season of winter soon. And the new year is going to be kicking in very soon as well. But with the frontal system, as they make their way down from the U.S. and uh, may loiter around the Northern Caribbean, that will be one of our main sources of rain over the coming few months. And of course, I'll be keeping you posted on all that is going on. And these frontal systems, they help to also bring down cooler air. Sometimes they come with a lot of rain, those rougher seas and those stronger winds so i'll be keeping you posted as necessary guys and that is it for this video i trust and hope that you found it to be informative but if you have any questions 
You can always feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll get to you when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.